Okay, so today um, I'm going to be talking about Versace makeup and um, the fact that it failed. Uh, and I just don't understand why, because um, it was founded in 1998. And for those of you young enough to old enough to remember that there were counters in Debenhams and House Fraser, and it was an absolutely beautiful line, and I completely loved it. Um, and I've got one of these to show you, which was uh, back in the day uh, we used to get press packs that looked like this. Those days are long gone, I might say. So it's a fantastic box, and then it's the Spring 2003 collection, and it just presents everything completely beautifully um, but as I say we don't really get this kind of thing anymore more's the pity because I've never been able to throw this away but Versace um, like me if you think about Burberry and um, the forthcoming Le Bouton range Dolce Gabbana these are all like really premium brands that have been very successful and sometimes things fail like uh, Calvin Klein um, I know they're trying again, but in the past they've failed because there's just a complete disconnect between the um, actual beauty products and the fashion line. But I think Versace did such a good job. I mean, look at look at that. How gorgeous is that? They, they were totally on brand. Um, and inside this particular thing, it's a highlighter. If you can see there. Um, I'm also actually revealing that I've got my... Uh, my iPad on top of a T-Fell Active Fry box. That's not very glamorous, is it? But that's the most beautiful kind of highlighter that we would see now and absolutely love. Um, but other things that Versace used to do so well, look, this beautiful little um, eyeshadow with the logo embossed on top. It's an overspray, I think. Um, and we get all sorts of like little press packs like this, you know, nice little makeup case. There's some, oh, you can tell this is old now, but some uh, Versace uh, nail polish with the logo very much in evidence on, on the top of the lid. Um, beautiful glosses. I mean, look at that. Think of all the, the beautiful top coat shimmers that we have now, and that would be bang on, it would be absolutely perfect. Let me see if I can just, I haven't had this out of my box for a long time, but yeah, you can see it's just like a soft focus shimmer with a tiny bit of gold in it. Um, so I've no idea really why it, it didn't last. I think it's a great shame. Again, well, actually this is showing its age. Um, this is one of the Versace lipsticks and it's very, um, it's like a glitter splattered bronze and that's kind of 80s to me even though the brand was a bit later than 80s but I think that that's the one thing so far that is actually really showing its age but so it it didn't uh, succeed other brands that excuse me um, that I found are this is a little um, pot from um, Christian Lacroix for Sephora years ago. I can't even remember when I got it. I mean, it's only really a powder with CL on top of it. It's nothing too exciting apart from the, the embellishment on the lid, which is beaded and cloth and looks like a little shower hat, I think. Um, but anyway, in a very, very sweet paper pot um, and, you know, good logo there. And all I can think, from that one piece of La Croix was that there was possibly going to be some kind of um, line released and it just for some reason didn't happen. Um, Versace, I always think it's such a shame that it's gone because it was so glamorous. It was just, you know, the Versace counter was the one that I used to hover by in the department stores. Anyway, it finally met its end in, um, it, it's a, you know, my sources say it's discontinued in 2009, but actually I think it was discontinued in 2007 because you really didn't see anything uh, much after that. So let me know what you think. Do you think Versace should bring back another range or not?